Sometimes when a dog has cancer, they just don't want to eat. There's a word for this. It's cancer cachexia. I think I'm saying that right. Dr. Dressler, uh, what are your thoughts on, on it? And am I pronouncing it correctly? Um, well, you are pronouncing it correctly. Uh, it's something that happens usually in the later stages of cancer. And what it represents in the dog is almost a hijacking of the metabolism that's due to the presence of chemical signals from cancer cells. And what it does is it prevents the body from getting the carbohydrates and the fats and the protein absorbed and processed to support the body tissues. And what the cancer chemicals do is they instead shift the body's metabolism so that the body is now feeding the cancer as opposed to feeding itself. So that sounds like a pretty serious situation because the dog doesn't want to eat. Yeah, when you combine that with a lack of intake, caloric intake, we have w this weight loss. And that's really what cachexia is, is the loss usually of muscle mass that's connected with the cancer cells. Now, th there is good news there because through some dietary modification that we talk about in the guide, and also through the use some, sometimes of uh, uh, increasing appetite with medication uh, or sometimes supplements, all of these things can help to offset the cancer cachexia. Okay, what are, what are some of the things that, that you do in your practice, Dr. Ettinger, when a dog is presenting with cachexia? What's interesting about cachexia is that it's uh, pretty common for those pets to actually be eating well. And often you can see cachexia in patients that are eating adequate number of calories. But as Dr. Dressler said, their metabolism is so turned up that they're still losing weight. So I think it's important to get them on a high quality diet, um, high pr fats and proteins. Um, and then if they are not interested in eating, it's important to stimulate that appetite as well um, to try to boost that interest in eating. So, Dr. Dressler, what are some things you can do to stimulate that uh, interest in eating? Well, there are certain uh, pharmaceuticals uh, which can be used to increase appetite. Um, the newer ones, are probably the most common is mirtazapine. Uh, in the olden days, uh, we used to use different medications, uh, different drugs. On the herbal side, quote unquote, or on the alternative side, many times we'll use things like ginger, uh, which can help to uh, soothe the stomach, and sometimes also a uh, slippery elm, uh, which can help to soothe the intestine. And on top of that, we have supplements like certain fatty acids, uh, which can help with cachexia, and we want to improve melatonin levels in the body uh, through long sleeps. Uh, and that's something, too, that's been shown, at least in, in rodents and, and, and scientific studies like that, to help with cachexia. There is help if your dog isn't eating because he has cancer cachexia. And uh, more information is available in the Dog Cancer Survival Guide. Dr. Dressler, Dr. Ettinger, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.